Tom Mullen here with Communities at Washington Times. Today I'm joined with Jordan Page, uh, kind of the official Ron Paul musician. Uh, is open for Ron Paul 14 times. Jordan, thanks for joining me. Thanks, Tom. Thanks for talking to me. Yeah. I've seen a lot of you on YouTube, and uh, and I've I've heard a couple of your songs on on CD. Um, you took your you've been a musician all of your life, isn't that right? Yeah, I started playing when I was 12 years old, and uh, been a professional musician since 2003. I that's all I ever wanted to do, and uh, so I just I started playing, you know, local shows in Maryland and regional shows in Mid Atlantic. But well, around 2000, end of 2006, I had a major awakening, and uh, started writing songs that actually mattered, not just about like relationships and that kind of stuff. Um, and then the the movement found me. You know, XM Radio played my song Pendulum for like two years all over the world. It was very popular, and people in the movement found me. Gary Franchi, Ernest Hancock, Adam Kokesh, and I, uh, and Brian Seaman, who organized Paul Fest, gave me my first uh, shot at a Liberty show, which was the Revolution March in July of 08. That was Ron Paul's last event of that campaign, and that was my very first Liberty event. Really, really blew my mind how many people came up. 15,000 people came, and uh, I've been, I've been, you know, rocking out for 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 the for the cause of freedom ever since. And and you've actually played at some official Ron Paul campaign events, isn't that right? A bunch, yeah. I really did a lot for him um, last year. Uh, I, I did the Iowa straw poll. I was on his at his official tent, and I've done, uh, I've done. I did a big show with him at Webster Hall in New, in New York last uh, September. I've done a lot. I've done a lot of campaign events for him, and I'm doing tomorrow. I'm playing at the Sun Dome uh, at one o'clock, and uh, it's it's you know it's a real honor, and it's 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 kind of like the the apex of the, the culmination of time that all of us have put in. You know that, that is this weekend. You know being here at Paul Fest. Tomorrow at the Sun Dome, it's it's just it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. How many CDs have you made since uh, starting to write music about these ideas? I've got two discs that are in this in this vein of thought. Uh, my Revolution EP was seven songs. It was uh, you know some some acoustic stuff, a few full band songs, but and Pendulum was the big song off that. Um, this new album I have, Liberty, is 15 songs and it's very well produced. It's like a major rock and roll record. There's a lot of acoustic stuff. People know me as an acoustic artist because I tour as a solo artist a lot of the time, but, uh, but I also play and tour with a full rock band, and this, the, the CD has a lot, of, uh, a, lot, a lot of elements of both of those things. Where was it recorded? At Studio 51 in Dunkirk, Maryland. I'm originally from Maryland, and there's an amazing studio there, and, and, and they, uh, the people that run it are very much uh, supportive of what I do, and I have a you know, great rapport with the engineer, and we, we, just, we just made a killer, killer record that's like a, I told somebody just now in the bathroom, it's like a, a roundhouse kick to the face of the scumbag fascists in Washington D.C. So yeah. Now, what's next for uh, for you after the the campaign's over, the campaign events are over, this event's over? Where do you take your career then? Well, it's for me, it's like it's never been all about Ron Paul. Like he was such a pleasant surprise for me to find out that there was someone in in Washington who felt the same way that I did. He's been doing a hell of a lot longer, obviously, longer than I've been alive, but. Um, you know, I, I didn't even know about him when I got involved. And so my, my motivations are not based on Ron Paul. They were validated by him and, 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 and continued to be fueled and inspired by his example and his ideas. So for me, it's like I'm committed for life to continue to further the cause of peace. You know, and, and to, I'm, I'm, in, I'm a very vocal anti-war activist. And, you know, I, I'm trying to free people from the, the false paradigms we were born into. It's like, a, it's like an invisible prison you don't even know is there. You know, and, and for me, I, I think that music is such a non-threatening way to communicate a very powerful message and to bring about real social change, because the real the, the real revolution it begins inside. It, it's, it's in the individual. For me, it's a spiritual battle. It's it's a it's a socio-economic political battle, and you know, I'm I'm using uh, you know, the, the the medium at my disposal, which is music. I've, I I was called to do this. This is what I was made to do. And where can people go to find out uh, more about you and, and hear your music? JordanPageMusic.com. Um, you can just Google me. There are about a million things come up. YouTube, obviously. And uh, I've got all my albums are on iTunes and Amazon, Rhapsody, anywhere you can buy uh, and download music on the Internet. You can find okay. me anywhere, yeah. Sounds great. And thanks, uh, Jordan. appreciate you taking the time. Oh, my pleasure. And uh, that was Jordan Page, uh, official Ron Paul rock star and internet sensation. Uh, this is Tom Mullen at Communities at Washington Times. Thanks for watching.